Welcome to part 12, player health, single player. Okay, make a new C sharp script and call it health. Public constant int max health is equal to 100. And public int current health will start with max health. public void take damage and I'll have a parameter of int and I'll call it amount current health minus equal amount and then a check if current health is less than or equal to zero then current health is equal to zero debug.log dead all right so that's the message that will appear if the health falls to zero so let's attach that to the player and of course nothing will it's useless at the moment the bullet script needs to be updated as well so it can apply damage so now this needs a parameter as well of collision and we'll just call it collision. Game object hit is equal to collision dot game object. Health, I'll just call it health, is equal to hit dot get component health. If health is not equal to null, so there is actually a reference to that script. Then we can access it. Health dot take damage, so that's the method that we wrote. 10. Okay, so that'll cause damage. Okay, so the bullet can now damage the player, but we don't really have any way to see that unless we click on the player in the inspector and look at the health value. So we need to make a, a simple health bar. I'll make a UI image. The canvas will be called health bar canvas. The image, let me just uh, reset its position. There we go. Will be called background. Its height will be like 20. Now that's too much. So more like 10, and the width is 200. Okay, change the uh, image source to be input field background, then I'll have rounded edges and a more of a border, and change the color to full red. Now don't adjust the anchors, now duplicate this, and call this foreground. Set the color to green, and for this one, set the position to the left, middle left, and also the anchor. So it would shift, well, the pivot rather. There we go. So what will happen is now, let's say if I change the width to 100, you can see it's behaving like a health bar. So that's exactly how we'll uh, use it. I make it a child of background. There we go. And I need to change this from screen space overlay to world space. It's going to be over the player. So let me drag the player back in, drop in the health bar canvas onto the player, reset its position. Okay, it looks massive. So scale it down to 0.01. I'll just copy that value. Paste it in. Okay, and change the Y position to like 1.5. So it's above the player. Okay, so I'll apply these changes to the player and just save that. And I need to update the health script so that it does change this foreground's length, the width basically, based off the health. Okay, so in the health script, we're instructed to put using unity engine.ui and a new variable public rect transform health bar. And then to affect the uh, foreground, the health bar, we need a bit of code as well for that. So health bar dot size delta is equal to 
new vector 2, current health times 2, health bar dot size delta dot y. So just maintain the y size, but change the x. And it's current health because it's 100 and the health bar is 200. So you just have to multiply it by 2 to get it to show properly. Okay, so back in Unity, going to the player. Let's put in the health bar, which is the foreground. Okay, and apply these changes. And then I'll delete the player from the scene. Now the health bar needs to constantly face the main camera. So we need another script for that. So create a new C-sharp script. Call it billboard. And this is quite simple. Just say transform dot look at. What's it looking at? The camera dot main dot transform. Okay. Now let's attach this to the health bar canvas on the player. There we go. So attach billboard. Okay, good. Now let's try it out. Join in with a host. And what you are going to see is that the health is not in sync. It will work. So I can shoot, and there you go. You see the health drop. And let me just shoot back. Okay, you see the health drop, drop. Now do you see that here the health is gone, but here there's still a little bit of green? It's still, it can go out of sync. Like what's happening is the health is only being managed locally on each of the player's computers. What needs to happen is it must be done on the server and then the what happened transmitted to the players. Because it's like this, on the server, this is the host, so it's combined player and uh, server, the bullet can get destroyed before it is even able to reach the clients on the other computer. So the slower the connection, the more likely that will happen. And so as a result, there's a, a mismatch in the health values. So you can see that as well. You just, just keep trying it and you'll see that happen. See that? Look, this one's dead, but this one's showing here it actually has health. So we need to, uh, well, improve the situation by having the server manage the application of uh, damage to these players. Okay, so that's next video.